language, I go and I look at what are the main verbs, the auxiliary verbs that you need to know in order to create the basic scaffolding of a language. You need about 50 of those. But if you look at relational language, there are about seven or eight verbs that are very good to practice. To ask, to give, to receive, to share, to play, to refuse, and to want. And you ask yourself, how do I deal with these verbs? Is asking easy for me? Do I feel entitled to ask? Do I trust that when I ask, people actually care? Was I taught to ask and to rely on others, or was I basically said, you know, you have your own legs to stand on and nobody's there for you? How do I experience giving? Do I enjoy giving? Do I have this spirit of generosity? I feel bigger when I give, or do I give in order not to feel guilty? In order not to feel that I have a debt, so I give you just so that I don't owe you anything. Do I like to receive? And you can practice every single one of these verbs in the relational, emotional part or in the sexual part. Do I like to receive? Do I feel okay having all the attention on me? Do I feel worthy of receiving? Do I trust what somebody wants to give to me? Can I surrender? Can I let go? Can I give myself to somebody? To want, to refuse. If you can't say no, you can never really say yes. You must feel that there is integrity and legitimacy in being able to say no. No to protect your boundaries. No, I don't want to eat when your parent says eat. No, I don't want to fuck when your partner wants to have sex. No, no. All of that. So this is basic vocabulary. Um, and more of this you can find, you know, in, in I, I try to write about.